sorry. My film room is such a mess. Um, it's been a busy last two months. I've been trying to make more content than usual, and so I haven't really had a chance to pick up. But, um, who am I kidding? It always looks like that. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, more content, more sponsorships too, which is really exciting. At the end of the year, um, YouTubers generally get more sponsorships because it's like, you know, Christmas time. But that's been exciting because as it, well, maybe you don't know this, but uh, sponsorships are really huge for creators. It helps us to keep our content going, helps us to pay our bills and all that. So it's really exciting. Um, yeah, so on that note, um, gosh, I'm really happy that you clicked on this video today because um, it's kind of really important. I'm almost at 200k subs, you know, if you didn't know, now you know, um, and it's really exciting because it's like a, a milestone, and milestones are really exciting for creators, um, and of course you get the clout, um, you know, people that generally don't care about you will care about you now, so clout is great, um, so it's, you know, I just, I really want to get to 200k, the thing is though, like, my views and subs are starting to slow down. Uh, they were picking up for a while, but they're slowing down again, and I just don't really feel like waiting, you know, three months or so until I hit 200k. So I thought, you know, maybe you could help me out. Um, no, not like that. Um, although liking some and subscribing is super helpful, so if you haven't, that's great. But um, there's actually a different way that you could help. Um, you see, I actually, I need to sell your soul to get more views and subs. Yeah. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy. Actually, one second, um, so you don't leave, I just need to... Just need to take a few. Okay, and... Um, sure that you don't uh, escape. Sorry, I just want to get this done real quick before I explain. Okay. Right there. All right. Okay. Good. Nice and stuck. Okay. Um, so as I was saying, uh, I would sell my soul, but I kind of already sold it. Um, funny story. So, um, about a year ago, or more than that, a year and a half ago, I really wanted to get to 100k subs, because once you get to 100k, you get that really cool plaque, you know, the really cool plaque. Um, and I just felt like if I had the plaque, that I would be happy. But, um, unfortunately, the serotonin boost from all 100k, it, it is long gone. So, I figured if I could get to 200k, it'd be another boost of serotonin. That would be really great, because I haven't felt some in, in months. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so I sold my soul already uh, to get the views and the subs to get to 100k. But I guess, you know, everybody's soul kind of has a different, um, you know, price on it, and my soul is only worth, you know, a certain amount of subs, and now that it's wearing off, I need another one, Ooh, but I don't have two souls, you know? So, I'm gonna have to use yours. Um, listen, honestly, it's- life will be no different without a soul. It's, like, completely fine. Um, you know, I, it's kind of awkward in churches. Um, sometimes people can kind of tell that you're a little off, but, like, other than that, uh, my life has been totally normal. So, just letting you know. Um, so shall we begin? <laughs> yeah, it's like, this is crazy. Uh, thank you so much for, you know, being a supporter of my channel. It means a lot. It does. I uh, got this book off of Amazon. I was looking up ways to get more views and subscribers. Um, apparently if you buy them, it's like, it messes up your whole channel. So don't ever buy views and subs, to be honest. Um, so I bought this. It's the 
creator's guide to sacrifice. As I said, I got it off Amazon, but um, I won't be dropping the link just in case you are also a creator because um, you know how it is. Like when you have a secret to help you grow, you don't share it with other creators because duh, <laughs> why would you do that? Um, <laughs> so yeah, I have this book. It was even it was even prime, which is exciting. So <sighs> yeah, um, I haven't even really looked at it yet. So <sighs> exciting. symbols. Okay, are you wearing any holy symbols? Just gonna see any necklaces, crosses, okay. earrings. No, 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 no. Okay. Anything in your pocket? You know, rosary beads, whatever. No. Okay. Good. 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 Guess I'll know. I'll find out. <laughs> I'm sure they'll burn during the process. It's for your own good, just so you know. Okay, awesome. Yeah, thanks for your cooperation. I really appreciate it. Awesome. All right. Light a black flame candle. <laughs> oh, like Hocus Pocus. Okay. Um, so, I actually don't have a black flame candle, but I do have this candle here that is almost gone so I figured I might as well use this one up because I don't know how long this is gonna take um, and I didn't you know I don't want to open a new candle so I think this one will do just fine it's cucumber cactus yeah cu cucumber cactus are you okay with that scent? I can go get a different one if you're not really you're okay with that you to be comfortable too, you know. This is your sacrifice as well. So. Okay, let's um, light up this candle. really cute pens. I bought them for a role play, but you know, I am Amazon is like, I just wanted one pen, like maybe three, but no, on Amazon, everything comes in like packs of like 100. So I have like 100 of these pens, so I might as well use it for this. Let's see what color, what color do you want? What color do you want to choose? So we have white, Upside down triangle. Sorry, I just gotta wipe that off. 
Okay, upside down triangle that I know is kind of a culty, I think. <laughs> um, bones, maybe you just do like skull and crossbones. And the other side, I got bone here, which on the bottom there. Um, I feel like a lot of like weird geometry also is something that I've seen often. So I'm just like right there. Maybe just like something here, like a shape, maybe. <laughs> There. Or, okay. It's looking a little bit like a mess, but I think as long as they're basic cult symbols that, um, it should be fine. Yeah. Maybe we should write something on your face, like, sacrifice, but with love. Because... Thank you for watching. It means a lot. <laughs> that way they know to treat you right. You know? Treat your soul right. Because you sag. For me. Thank you. Awesome. Very good. So that's looking great. Okay. Dress the victim. Well, <laughs> dress the friend in occult fashion. Okay. Again, I I don't know what occult fashion is. But, um, my guess is that they just want you to be presentable for, you know, when it happens. So I do have another box of hair clips. So again, I just wanted one of the hair clips, but Amazon is like, well, for $5, the only choice is that you can have 10. Okay, fine. So I have a bunch of hair clips that we could uh, put in your hair, make you look all pretty. <laughs> okay. There you go. So I have several here. What about a carrot? Yeah? Okay. star. <laughs> yeah, it really 
it does come down to money. Yeah, it does. You see, my cats, they... <laughs> they require, you know, really specific food. <laughs> you know, they're just so cute and I love them, but their tummies are very, um... They get upset with, you know, potatoes and, um, you know, gravy. She has special medicated food because her body can't process hair. It's this whole thing. She almost died like three years ago. But yeah, it's really expensive, this, this cat food. I just need the money to keep them alive and also I need a new couch. Um, this is no lie. The couch that we have now was, um, we got it from people who were, like, moving out, so we just took the couch, and listen, I, I don't know where it's been. I don't know what its life is, and I don't really love taking naps on it, knowing that it has a very questionable history. So I'd like a new couch. Um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Next. Next. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thanks. I know. My struggles are real. Okay. Um, let's see. Oh, wow. Okay, so the face must be wider than... Okay, that's weird. Probably to make sure that you weren't like a child or something. Yeah, I totally get that. Gotta keep the children safe. Okay. Let's see here. You're good. You're good. Okay. Very good. <laughs> that would have been unfortunate if we just got this far and you weren't even able to be sacrificed. That would have been really sad. They probably should have put that in the beginning. But what can you do? Okay. Cut a lock of hair from the star player. Okay. Lock of hair. This is some really beautiful hair you have here. Absolutely gorgeous. I used to have darker brown hair, but I just felt like it looked so plain. And so I dyed it a little bit. You know, I added highlights to it. I actually really like it. I was scared that it was going to be too blonde, you know? The other side. It's a little, honestly, it's a bit messy, your hair. It's pretty messy. Yeah. Did you brush your hair this morning? No. Okay. That's okay. I didn't either. I've been trying this new thing. You see, generally, I um, straighten my hair. Because it's um, like a wavy, frizzy mess. It's not really curly, but it's not really straight. And I just kind of got sick of straightening it. And um, I decided I wanted to embrace my curls. Well, again, not curls, more like wavy. Embrace the waves. Embrace the poofiness. It's been a bit of a process, really. But the in-between stages are apparently... <laughs> Not as fun, so. Your hair is gorgeous. It's 
very shiny. What sort of um, shampoo and conditioner do you use? Really? Okay. Do you use like any hair oil? Deep conditioner or anything? Let me see. Oh, yeah, I, I think I see that. Well, this deep hair conditioning treatments are honestly really suiting you. It's doing really well. Yeah. I, I keep buying this expensive shampoo and conditioner thinking that it's going to help me, but it honestly works just as much as the, you know, the, the cheap ones. Oops. Yeah. For. It just says cut a lock of hair. It doesn't say where to put it. Do I burn it? <laughs> Do I like place it next to you? I don't know, but um, it says we gotta cut it, so. So, I suppose I'll just put it over here, okay. next to the candle. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so I've got the lock of hair. Okay, so I need to prepare something. Okay, I did look at this earlier, and I knew that I was going to need some ingredients, but I need to go grab the bowl real quick. My uh, wooden objects over here, but this is my bowl. <sighs> my wooden bowl here. Okay. So I need to add. Okay, yeah. So let's make that rosemary. I'm just gonna set this over here. Oh no, right here, right here. Just need to add. Rosemary to the bowl. Okay. Okay, put the rosemary. Put it in the bowl here. Okay. Ooh, okay, that's gonna be all over the floor, but that's, I'll just clean that up later. Okay. Rosemary. Next, it wants me to add thyme. Good. Thyme, thyme, thyme. Thyme, thyme, thyme. Wish we had more thyme. Don't you wish sometimes you had more thyme during the day? Right. So, add a bit of thyme. So here's the thing about paprika. I actually either couldn't find it or I was out, but I was able to find this Grill Master's Montreal steak, um, I guess seasoning that I've had since like 2017 or something. <laughs> yeah. Um, and I never threw it away. It's definitely no good anymore, but it has salt, garlic, spices, including black and red pepper, sunflower oil, onion, natural flavors, and extratives. That's why it says extratives of paprika. Now I'm now I'm no cook or anything, but I'm pretty sure that means that it'll work because it has extratives of paprika. So, there we go. Add this to the, uh, the bowl here. Very good. I had a feeling that 
was gonna be loud. So, so yeah, you never know. so long to do this. So, I think I have a better idea. Instead of, the only thing is, like, you have to ingest it. Okay, fine. So let's do it a different way. Let's do it a different way. I have La Bandrita Street. in one of these uh, soft taco shells, and then you can just eat it that way. Sound good? Yeah, okay. Sweet. say the incantations, you need to cover the face in mud from a dead man's grave. Okay, that's a little gross, and I don't feel like going to a graveyard. That's scary. I'm a scary cat, and that's just a no for me. Plus, I feel like that's kind of rude. It's just not, not okay. But, 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 <laughs> again, I have this, um, deep cleansing herbal clay mask, mud clay, right, that I've had since, gosh, probably even earlier, maybe, like, 2015 or earlier. I mean, I've had this for a very long time. Yeah. And because it was expensive when I first bought it, I didn't feel like throwing it away. Also, it's not a bad product. I just don't really do deep cleansing masks very often. And, um, and I, again, out of sight, out of mind, you forget that you have it. And it was like in the cabinet and I just forgot that I have it. So I still have this and I think it's going to be very useful. I'm going to go ahead and put this on you. Put that all over your face. Okay. Oh my gosh. Get in. Here we go. Ugh. I don't know if that'll be enough. Here we go. Okay. Okay.
going to wipe my hands off because I always keep a towel in here just in case. Sometimes it can get messy with like stuff that you use in here. So I gotta keep a towel in here just in case. <laughs> that right there for future Amy to clean up. Okay, next is the incantations because you are ready to go. I'm so excited. I'll be sure to at you on Twitter too. Just let me know what your Twitter handle is. And if you don't do Twitter and you do Instagram or TikTok, let me know because I have all, all of those socials. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now I must... Say the incantations. Okay. Eki, 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 Eki. Zubang, Zumboing, Norsenoroink. Okay. <laughs> it's kind of weird, but. Okay. Hocus, Pocus, Leviosa, Wingardium. Okay. These kind of sound a little made up, but. You know, whatever. Okay. Oh well, there's a lot. Okay. Ba, ha, ba, ba, ha, ba, de, ga, da, ha, ba, de, ga, da, ha, ba, ba, de, ba, ba, ha, de, ba, ba, de, ga, de, ga, ha, da, da, ha. didn't turn black and roll up inside your head. Mine did when I sold my soul. Oh, uh, I followed a, I followed a YouTube tutorial. So yeah, that's how I did it the first time. But I figured this is like, I guess, specialty information. I couldn't find a tutorial on it online, so, um, so I had to go with the book. wrong. I did everything that the book told me to. I mean, I mean, we got, we got rid of the holy symbols, flame candle, uh, cult symbols, cult fashion, faces wide enough, um, got the hair, um, got the, you ate the taco? Good. Okay. Covered your face in mud, and I said this. Oh my gosh! What the hell? Um, have you sold your soul already, or something? Do you not have a soul? You do. Okay. Well. Hmm. You know what? Oh my gosh! I should have asked this before. Do you have a, what is it called, a, a VPN? A firewall? Yeah, okay. See, that's the thing. Because we're doing this through the computer, because you have the freaking VPN. Double VPN? Ugh. Oh my gosh. Shot myself in the foot here. You know, I did, what, two, three sponsorships or VPNs? It's gonna be really hard to find someone that on a VPN now. I don't want to wait. What can you 
at least, like, do me a favor and, like, hit the subscribe button. Like, smash that subscribe button so that I can hit 200k. <laughs> Thanks, it means a lot. I'm sorry that I was trying to sacrifice your soul. <laughs> yeah. Hey, no hard feelings, right? And you'll be back for next week, because I, I have a whole new video ready for, you know, next week that where I don't sacrifice your soul. Yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Hugs, hugs, hugs. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. All right, I guess, um, have a good night's sleep. Yeah. I'll see you next time, okay?